Hi, it's me again with Career Doll Tips and Tricks, and this is part 12 of this for the beginner. We've already talked about all the tools on the toolbox. I just made a video about the file. Now we're going to go to edit. Edit, there's a lot, you know, there's, these are uh, shortcut keys in, in a lot of them. And you, you know, you can copy something. So if you pick the menu and go up to edit and copy or control Z, and then click over here and paste, it'll actually paste it right on top of it. But you can do the same thing with control C and control V and it'll make another copy. Much like a lot of tools do. Now you see they're grayed out because of the fact that they're, I don't have anything selected. If you select something and go back to edit, look at all the things. You can delete something by just deleting. Control D is your duplicate. And one thing that's cool about the Control D key, Control D and make a duplicate of that. And let's make it a little smaller. Now when I Control D, it's going to progressively make that box smaller. So that's either good or bad. Now to make a copy of it, you can hit the plus key on the keyboard and move it over. And then you can Control D as many times as you want. So you can hit the plus key on your keyboard you can control V, uh, control C and control V or control um, duplicate with control D. Uh, paste, special, cut. I'm just making sure I'm covering everything. Clone tool. Clone tool is one of the coolest features in Corel where you could clone something. I'm going to attempt to make a flower real quick. I'm going to bring in some indexing lines. I just went to my ruler. Okay. I've got to go to edit and I've got my guidelines turned off, I guess. Well, Oh, there we go. I was hitting the escape key. So there's my guidelines there in the center of the page. I'm going to hit P and put that in the center of the page. I'm going to move this up, holding down the control button. I am going to rotate it. I'm going to, well, first I'm going to make a duplicate of it, control D, and then I'm going to move the rotation to the center and I'm going to rotate it 20 degrees or about. So make that 20. To make it perfect, it's got to be divisible by 360. So the bad thing about it, I'm stuck with that. I have to use that shape no matter what it looks like now. But if I use the clone tool and clone that guy and then rotate it 20 degrees and then control D, I can control D the rest of them. If you ever have something like that happen, just uh, my old laptop just can't keep up with, with that. So control D, control D. Now what's going to happen is up here in your status bar, this is going to tell you a controlled ellipse. This is going to tell you a clone, clone ellipse. What's cool about this, let's take it and go up to object and convert it to a curve so we get some nodes and let's change it. Watch what happens when I let go. It's changing them all the same. This is really cool if you're drawing a flower. You can see, well, they're, they're across the line now. I mean, look at that. Now, if you want them all blue, you just make the clone blue. I'm a little bit off on that one. I must have must have made it jump. And um, see what I did here. Yeah, well, I moved I moved something and it made it jump. To that shouldn't really happen. Um, I don't understand why that is happening. Um, Never really seen that before. But that's why it's kind of good because you can, one, you can see mistakes and two, you can see, but if, if you wanted a different color, you just make them all the same color. So that's the clone tool. Very, very useful when you're drawing something like that. You can always go up here and turn off your indexing lines. Next under edit is select all. Select all objects. Hit. I'm going to hit delete and it's going to delete them all because they're all an object. If I want to just not delete this, but just delete all the text, 
I can go edit, select text, hit delete. All my text is there, but my ob other objects that aren't text are there. You can go to edit and you can select guidelines. We don't have any guidelines out there because I've got them turned off. Let me put some new guidelines out there. Turn them back on. If I want to select them, say there's a hundred guidelines. You can turn them off, but now I, I just totally want to get rid of them. We can go to edit, select all guidelines and hit delete and it'll delete all your guidelines. This will actually work with nodes too. Let's just draw an ellipse. Well, let's turn it into a curve. Let's grab the shape tool and let's select it and then let's give it a lot of nodes. Well, if you have that selected, not really a reason for this, but select all nodes, and it's going to select all the nodes. You can very easily do that by just selecting the node, so that's not big a deal. I'm going to skip over find and replace and leave that for last. We're going to do step and repeat. Somewhere I have a 10-inch box. I'm going to take and open up step and repeat, which you can get to several ways. Control shift D, or it's underneath your docker. It's a docker. I'm going to move them 10 inches. I'm going to go offset, and I'm going to have no offset. I'm going to make five copies. In that click of a button, it made five copies, and they're right on top of each other. You can do the same thing now. So we're going to actually move them up instead of down. We're going to put no offset, and we're going to put offset. Now it made ten, that many more boxes that quick. The other good thing about it, it doesn't group them together so they're still separated. And if well, I wanted to, I want to space them out. So I'm going to put no offset that away. I'm going to go up here and put space between object. I want a quarter inch, 0.25 offset. Now my objects are a quarter inch apart. Really cool when you're doing stuff like that and you need to space them out. One of my favorite things is find and replace, and I'm just going to go over find and replace text right now. If you have, if you have a customer and you made this name badge, and they come back to you the next year and said, I want that same name badge, but you need to change the year. Well, instead of going through there and editing all those lists, you can go to edit, find and replace, and see you've got find object, find ob replace object, or find text. I've already got it in there because I was just testing it. I wanted to find all the 2022s and replace it with 2023. And in that short a time, it changed the date to 2023. On all those name tags, you don't have to do any work. It's all done. And there's a lot of find and replace. And I've got plenty of videos on find and replace, but I'm trying to just to do this for beginners. I think I've got everything covered under the menu. So stay tuned for other parts in other additions to for the beginner hope that helped thank you for watching